Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the sh another shift car update for sh for the Deco Traveler and Amazing Circus shift cars from Commander Air Drive. These are two other shift cars that, we that never got tires apparently, but uh, they do assist drive. And of course we got Deco Traveler and Amazing Circus, so... I'll be going in the order that they first appeared, starting with Deco Traveler. <clears throat> so here we have Deco Traveler based on a Deco Tora, which is actually a form of trucks that are basically Japanese only. They are basically decorated in a bunch of flashy lights and decals, which this does have a lot. And normally... As you can tell by the face up here, are associated with tough guys, apparently. On the front, it is done out in purple paint with the windshield looking like sunglasses and the, the engine housing looking like a pair of teeth and apparently a kerm cut right here for this little divot of orange paint. It does have red wheels, and this actually has six wheels in total, so it works alongside technique. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry that my Mock Driver Hono review was out of focus for a while. I'll redo the review another time because I don't feel like going through that shit all over again. So yeah, this is V071. So this is actually a... These are both a uh, capsule, actually. So yeah, flip it over. We get... Deco Traveler's logo, which is the Japanese kanji for light. That's, and that's it for Deco Traveler. Very nice. And it does have decals right here in the back. I can't read Japanese, so somebody please tell me what those translate to. But they still look cool. Next up is Amazing Circus. This is also associated with type Technique, since it has six wheels, and red wheels nonetheless, just like this one. Uh, but this is actually a combination of a clown car and a traveling circus. The clown car part is on the front. Basically looking like a clown face with hair, the hat, the eyes being headlights, and the mouth. guess that might be the window, I don't know. Uh, well, I guess the window would be up here. Um, but, yeah. And then the traveling circus part is in the back. Because this is where they'd store the thing and drive away with it. It, it. it even is raised at the top here to give it that image that it is a tent. Even though clearly it's not. Um, you got red paint going through here. Done out in this uh, translucent foggy white plastic. Well, this is done out in translucent gray plastic. Um, so yeah, again, six wheels, so it's associated with tech, technique. So this is uh, V075, and this is a capsule. Flipping it over, we get the logo, which is a sideways clown face. So next up, we'll bring in the drive driver, so get ready to... can't do that without the shift brace, so let's bring in the shift brace. And as always, let's first transform. This time we will transform into type technique. First, we'll tie our cloak on with Deco Traveler.
this would initially give him the Deco Traveler tire, which has never been seen. But by itself, it actually creates illusions similar to the stickers on Deco Traveler itself. Which I guess I'd imagine it would create flashy explosions. Shift up. Then the Hisats. And for the weapon finisher, we will use the door gun, so... It extends even more after this is finished because that sound effect is really long. Long. Next up, we'll tire Kokon with Amazing Circus. So that would give him the Amazing Circus tire, which has never been seen. By itself, it would actually create stages. So, and I assume the tire would actually throw these pie bombs at people. Like these, like it looks like a pie, but it's actually a bomb. I, I'd imagine that. But, uh, here's the ship up. Next we can use it in one of the weapons, like the door gun. And because I didn't show it off in my mock driver review, I will do type next and use one one of the weapons since I didn't show it off. So that's all there is for that, and there it is right in there. Oh, that's weird. Oh well. Now to cancel the transformation. Nice drive. Thank you, Beltson. So overall, two new excellent shift cars to add to your collection, and this will be pretty much the last shift car update. All's next to do is get the rest of the toys, which I still don't have yet because I'm missing a few things. But we'll get to that later. I will get some ghost stuff along the way, too, since the new rider just came out. And the first episode looks promising. So 
yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, I'd say pick these up if you can. And ironically, these two actually are the only ones with faces. So, interesting. So, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Yeah.